Hi everybody, my name is Olivia. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Makeup Fun with Olivia. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video that Amy Miranda created. She created this a couple of months ago, I believe, and it's so funny because I had been thinking of creating a similar tag video myself. Um, and so when I saw her video pop up with similar questions that I was thinking of creating, I was really happy because I thought, yay, I'll just do her tag. <laughs> um, I had been thinking about my YouTube channel and, um, you know, I've been on YouTube only about a year and a half, so not very long. Um, and I like to self-evaluate and evaluate my channel, where I'm going. And so I've been doing that for a while. Um, so this was perfect. Um, let's jump in. She has five questions for us to answer. Um, the first one is, and I'm going to read it off of my laptop here. As a YouTuber, do you think, let me move it over here more. Do you think that the more you are involved with YouTube, the more you are learning the how to, the what to, and what not to, and the more your videos are improving? So I am definitely learning more of the how to and the what to. Um, I'm not necessarily fond of the what not to because I'm very open-minded. I know not everybody is, but I'm pretty open-minded. And I think everybody should decide on their own the what not to. So I'll put that out there right at the beginning. I think everybody's different. Everybody has different ideology, different um, experiences that change you as a person. So, you know, five years ago, I may have thought, oh, this is a what not to do on YouTube. But now I think it's okay for whatever experiences that I've gone through or that I now understand. Sometimes you just never know. Um, you know, there's definitely some kind of common ones out there. Um, I could say, you know, um, not put any negativity out there, but even putting the negativity out there, and I'll put that in quotation marks, has has a reason for it, has some good that comes out of it. I may not necessarily do it. Uh, never say never, but you know, even if I might not do it, I don't want to say that somebody else should never do it. So I'm going to answer these questions as they pertain to me. I don't think that there's anything not to do or anything that anybody should tell me not to do or that I should be able to tell anybody else not to do because it's your channel. You should do what you want in your channel. And if somebody doesn't like it, well, then just don't watch it. <laughs> simple as that. I, I don't mean for that to sound cruel. I just think that that's the way it is. Different people are different and um, different channels attract different people and that's perfectly okay. That's actually kind of wonderful because that means that you have a higher likelihood of finding people that you like. You know, does that make sense? Okay, so the other part is, um, am I learning more of the how to and the what to? Definitely. I knew nothing about video editing, about how much time it took. So it takes a lot of time. If you don't have a YouTube channel, um, it takes a lot of time to learn it. And then it takes a lot of time, at least for me, maybe some people catch on quick for me. Um, and then it takes time to implement it. So, you know, videotaping the video is the fun part, is kind of the easy part. You just set, set up your, your camera or your phone or whatever it is you videotape on, and that's the easiest part. The hard part comes with the video editing, um, making it what you want to make it, and um, improving along the way. I see my earlier videos, oh my god. <laughs> But you know what? It's it's who I was. It's what I knew or didn't know at the time. And I was just doing the best I could. Same thing with right now. A year and a half later, my videos are what they are because I'm doing the best I can with what I know. Now, I will say I'm always trying to improve myself. So I'm always trying to learn more. Um, watching YouTube videos, reading, asking my husband, because he's kind of a techie. And um, so I would say, yes, I am learning more on the how to and the what to. Number two, 
Do you prepare yourself prior to videotaping? For example, do you rehearse? How do you prepare yourself prior to doing a video? I want to say yes and no to that. I don't rehearse. What you see is what you get. <laughs> However, if I have a review, then I do prepare for it. I try to do research. Even in favorites sometimes, I try to do a little bit of research. How much does it cost? What does it say um, a product is supposed to do? You kind of need to know those things sometimes in order to give a better review. I'm not saying my reviews are excellent because they're so not. I'm still trying to improve um, the amount of information I provide. It's kind of hard to figure out how to give as much information in a short amount of time because we only have so much time to watch videos, right? Um, so I'm always seeking to improve that part. Um, but yes, I do try to prepare. Um, that also takes time. Sometimes I don't have that much time and I just want to get a video up and share it because it's a limited edition or whatever the case may be. Um, so sometimes you know, I'll load it that way. I'll share what I know at the time. Um, but um, so yeah, there is some preparation to knowledge, to research, uh, price lookup, whatever the case may be. Is it available by the time this goes up? Um, but no, I don't rehearse. I, I kind of just jump in after that. Once I have my information, my research, I jump in and I start chatting away. <laughs> Number three, has YouTube affected your life? If so, in what way? Good or bad? YouTube has definitely affected my life in the sense that I am learning so much from a lot of other YouTubers. I learn from subscribers who don't have their own channels but share their knowledge with me. Um, I also benefit from friendships, which is a fringe benefit that I never expected to get on YouTube. You've probably heard this on other people's channels, um, and I don't mean to sound cliche, but it's so true. I, I didn't know that people made friends on YouTube when I started my channel. I just, I had no idea. I was set out on this journey to share information because if I was looking for information, somebody else might be looking for information. And lo and behold, there were a lot of other people in that same boat and I've gotten to meet them, quote unquote, get to know them. We email back and forth. Um, we snap back and forth. And I'm talking about not just people with YouTube channels. I'm talking about subscribers. It's just, it's pretty cool how much um, friendship you find on YouTube. So YouTube has definitely affected my life in that way. Um, lots of knowledge that I've acquired and that I'm still learning. I love that I'm still learning to this day and lots of friends. Let's see. Um, I wouldn't say, and now the question does ask any bad I haven't had any bad. I have seen how YouTube can be bad in some ways and how it's affected, unfortunately, other people. I haven't had any negative experiences yet. Knock on wood. <laughs> Here's my wood right here. Um, you know, so I hope, I hope I don't. But um, yeah, so far so good. I, I feel very blessed. Question number four. Are you on YouTube to make friends mostly or you believe you are contributing to something bigger? For example, teaching something to fellow YouTubers and if so, how are you doing that? That's a really good question. Um, I just mentioned I had no idea you would make friends on YouTube. So that is definitely not the reason why I came on YouTube, but it is definitely a wonderful thing that has happened. So I'm really glad about it. Um, I definitely started my YouTube channel to contribute, to share information. Um, I would say that I have not been doing as many reviews as I would like to do, mostly because of time. Um, so sometimes, you know, I'll share in hauls and I'll share in unboxings. Um, and I feel like the unboxings and my mini reviews, I think and I say mini reviews, but they're really like kind of feedback on my, my monthly favorites, for example. Um, I feel I'm contributing in that small, small way. Um, you know, sharing with you what works on mature skin, what doesn't. Uh, what works on combination skin, leaning towards normal now, uh, what doesn't. 
uh, when I first started YouTube, I had a really hard time finding somebody who had maturing skin, combination skin, medium skin tone. That whole combination was really hard for me to find. And so I found a lot of channels where I found mature skin, but not medium skin. Or um, I found mature medium skin, but not combination skin. And so I thought, you know what, if I'm looking for it, somebody else must be looking for it. So in my small way, I feel that through my monthly favorites, at least, um, I am sharing in what works for me and what doesn't. Um, I would like to share more. I would like to share in a way where I'm doing more reviews. And that is a goal of mine for 2016, do more reviews. Um, and you know, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't feel I have much to contribute as far as that. You know, there are makeup artists on YouTube that I learn so much from. Shoot, I, I learn from these young gals who are not makeup artists and they just come up with these gorgeous looks. So I don't want to say that I don't contribute in that way because I was once a newbie too. And so I wasn't going to jump in and wear like all this eye makeup, for example. So I would like to think that when I do my get ready with get ready with me's, I contribute in that small way too. For somebody who might be new, for somebody who's maturing and has never used makeup, for example, and now that they're maturing, they want to add a little bit, a little something something to their, you know, to their look. Um, I think it's hard to mature sometimes. I, I have to admit that I've never had a hard time getting older. You know, I have friends who, when they became 30, when they became 40, they were crying, they were upset, and I get it, but I never felt that way. Um, but I do kind of feel like that sometimes when my products don't work for me and I see extra wrinkles because of the products that I'm wearing, then it really affects me and kind of upsets me, <laughs> which is kind of what got me started on this YouTube journey, that I was looking for stuff that worked for me because, you know, if I'm going to mature, I'm going to try to mature as gracefully as possible and I'm going to fight it all the way. So I started using skincare that, um, you know, might fight it gracefully. <laughs> anyway, um, I can go on and on, but I hope in that small way anyway, I'm motivating you. I'm sharing information about, you know, about hooded eyes. Um, it's hard to come up with looks that don't make you look crazy when you have hooded eyes. So maybe when you see, you know, even if it's just one of you out there that sees my video where, you know, I said, oh, make sure to have your eyes open, um, you know, when you're doing this part because, you know, if you do it like this and then you open your eye, you can't see it. I hope even one person learned from that because, you know, there are lots of people out there who are newbies, who are still learning like I was learning. And truthfully, even though I want to feel like I'm contributing, I want to feel like I'm mostly learning with you because I don't consider myself a makeup artist where I'm, I have the YouTube channel, I'm here to teach you. Nope, that's not how I see myself at all. I see myself as I am learning with you. I am part of of your community, you are part of my community, we are learning together. This is my YouTube channel um, and that's how I feel about mine. There are people out there who really do have so much to contribute and they are teaching you, they are teaching us, right? But that's not my channel. My channel is we are learning together and if you see me come out with crazy eyeshadow one day, well now I've learned. <laughs> or you know what? I liked it. I'm sorry if you didn't like it. I'm still going to wear it. Um, and we go with it. You know, I'm, I'm a person. I'm a human being and I'm a newbie. I consider myself a newbie. But I'm a newbie who loves to try and to experiment and to, you know, just play with makeup. Okay, I'm rambling. <laughs> Let's go on to the next question. I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm going to like roll my eyes when I'm editing this and hear myself talking. But I'm trying to be as honest as I can possibly be with you and with myself. Um, number five. Oh, wait, did I miss anything from question four? No, I think I think I answered it. OK. Question number five. What are your goals on YouTube? Money, friends or both? 
So my goal on YouTube is mostly to share information and to learn from all of you. Um, it's not money. I don't think I'm ever going to become rich off of YouTube. It would be wonderful. <laughs> I would love it if I could quit my day job and just make money on YouTube. And you never know, right? You never know, but I really don't think so. Because like I was just saying, I'm not this person who knows a ton of things. I'm just an average person. I'm like the most average person in the whole wide world who just wants information, who wants to learn, and who wants to share those little tidbits as I learn. So that's my biggest goal, sharing information and learning from you. If the money comes, yay! I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> um, friends, like I said, I'm blessed. I, I am very blessed that friendship was a fringe benefit. It was not a goal, but I'm so glad that that's a friend, fringe benefit because I, I feel very blessed to know many of you. Um, yeah, so I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. The goal was and still is to share information um, and to learn from you and to share with you what I have learned. Anyway. Amy, thank you so much for creating this tag video, and um, I really enjoyed it. It it just came at the perfect time. Um, the word that comes to mind is serendipity. Um, right time and right place, right? It was perfect for a, at a time. It came at a time when I was self-evaluating and I was thinking about my channel. Um, and even though I don't share this with you guys, I do. I self-evaluate and then I try to implement those changes. And um, maybe I should do a better job of sharing them with you so you kind of know what's behind my mind and not just like, what is she doing? <laughs> but um, but yeah, I have been, I have plans for 2016 and um, it's a challenge. It's a challenge for me to do it with a full-time job and with kitties and with a husband. And I love my kitty and husband's <laughs> husband. <laughs> I do not have more than one husband. I love my family and I love my family time and they are priority for me. So um, even though I would like to do so much more and I still try, um, there's only so much I can do at the end of the day without sacrificing my family. And I will not sacrifice my family. They are number one for me. So, um, you know, yeah. All right, thank you so much for sticking around and for continuing to be a part of my YouTube community, for continuing to be that fringe benefit that I just, you know, it's not a fringe benefit, it's a blessing. It truly is a blessing. You guys are a blessing. I hope that in some small way I'm a blessing to you and I make you giggle or I teach you something or we just have fun together because this is Makeup Fun with Olivia after all. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye-bye.